So what about if a, if a company is looking to hire a demand gen marketer then, their first demand gen marketer, what advice would you give to a founder? Obviously, apart from hiring yourself. Yeah, sure. So I think um, you need to look at two different things. First of all, what's your business model? If you're on that volume business model, you should probably be looking at somebody that's got um, that's in growth marketing. That's the new... That's a new phrase, you know, growth marketing. But <laughs> typically growth marketing is, I'd look at certain areas. If, if um, have they done extensive A-B testing, for example? Have they been uh, like testing? Testing, 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 testing is the most important thing there. And what type of results they've gotten from that testing? Mm-hmm. How often are they seeing uptakes in the test that they're running? If they've run tests for a year and see no uptakes, that'd be a red flag for me, right? Mm-hmm. Which happens, which happens quite often. Mm-hmm. But if they're, if they're, consistently and constantly testing um that would be like a good key area to look at for somebody that's in the volume business mm. because you're driving large amounts of traffic to your site and you need that traffic to convert mm. so do they have conversion rate optimization experience and how are they getting that conversion rate optimi- optimization by by constant testing okay mm. then second of all if you're if you're more in the enterprise size of things so as opposed to the volume sales so uh, few customers with much larger revenue right you should be looking at the tactics in which they've done before. Do they uh, do they understand account based marketing? Have they done account based marketing before? Yes or no? Right. Mm-hmm. What has been the approach that they've taken to account based marketing? How do they view the world? Do they look at the world through leads, or do they look at true revenue? So if if they look at it through leads, you're probably going to be spelling some pro- some trouble there, because if they're because typically the way that works is if they're just looking at leads, I've generated a thousand leads last month. Nobody cares if it doesn't mm-hmm. turn into meetings, if it doesn't turn into opportunities, if it doesn't turn into revenue. Yeah. Okay. Like, and if, if, if they're focused more on their lead generation or the number of leads that they're creating, that would be a massive red flag to me. Yeah. If they start with revenue or pipeline that's being generated by the team that they're working with, then they're focused on the end goal, which is ultimately the reason why you're hiring somebody is to generate more revenue, mm-hmm. not to generate more leads. Mm-hmm. Right, it's it generate more leads. Part of it, but the end goal should always be around that pipeline generation, revenue closing. Mm. So, if if you want the experience there, it's a couple of red flags. Me, somebody that's that's been doing a lot of lead gen stuff has ABM experience, and and then has also been focused on on uh, creating pipeline. That's yeah. their core target. Yeah, it's an interesting point you make, and I don't know if you follow Chris. I'm trying to think of his surname now, but Chris, Chris at Refine Labs. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, he talks very much about marketeers being too focused on MQLs rather than actual revenue. So uh, 